All right, let's just top her off a little bit. Easy does it. Oh! Making it happen at the Great White Channel. That's all. Ooh, what it do, dudes? This is Great White making it happen again today with some more Portal Knights. Hope you guys are having an excellent day. I'm having the best day of my whole entire life. That's a lie. It's not the best in my life, but it's a great day for sure. Man, you guys, you're gonna be like, Gray White, you're crazy. Why would you do what you just did? In fact, you can probably see what I did already. Guys, I completely redid everything. So we made that sweet aquarium yesterday. Say hello to the new aquarium and the new water tower. I've done so much. Oh, I can't even, I can't even handle it. I was up till five in the morning. Didn't realize how late it was. It was, it was late. It was, I guess it was early technically at that point. I don't know. I don't even know where I'm at right now. It's currently 11 in the morning. Why am I awake already? I don't know. It's because it's a holiday and I have family things to do. So I'm going to be doing that later. So we're going to try and knock out a bit of video real quick. Fair warning. It probably won't be super long, but I'm going to try and showcase kind of what I've done. In fact, I'm just going to talk a lot about what I've already done here. You guys can see what's happened. You, you know what's, what's there. Let's, we're just going to take a little bit closer look at it. So, shall we, ladies and gentlemen, dudes and dudettes? All right, so first things first, we got the new tower, right? New and improved water tower. Much larger, much more fancy looking. Look, are those green? I didn't make those green. Those are supposed to be light blue. Is that green or light blue? Did I make it? Did I? What is that? Is this light blue? Let's take a look. That doesn't seem like the right color. Nope, that's the right color. That's light blue. It kind of looks green. It's okay, though. So, yeah, it's a very, um, it's a regal-looking water tower. It looks very, very regal, very posh. It's, it's, it seems very sophisticated. You know, it's shiny, and yeah, that FJ stands for Funny, funny Jongo, in case you guys didn't know. I thought that was an appropriate way to, to put the water tower, because you spawn in, wherever you spawn in, you see Jongo's face, and immediately the FJ standing for Funny Jongo, of course. I thought that was appropriate. I think it, it's a it's a nice touch. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. Now the water tower, um, similar style. We got a little roof type thing on it now. A much larger reservoir. There's much more water that it holds. We've got a little trap door. So the pipe leading to the thing. Oh, I've done so much different, guys. This is so much better than the last one I did. I'm much much happier with it. Um. Oh, let's fill this up a little bit while we're up here. Might as well. Why wouldn't you? Why don't you just give? Why don't you just give it a little fill? Oh, there we go. That's good. That's good. Yeah, look at it fill back up. Oh, it fills so much faster than the other one too. We have way more of those pumps. But I uh, just attached the pipe. I made it a straight pipe so we didn't have to deal with like the terracing or like the, um, you know, like the turns and stuff. So it's it's lined up exactly with the center of our aquarium, and um. I, d I did it from kind of the bottom of the reservoir instead of down here by the piping. I think it added a nice effect, and there's no shutoff for this one now. It goes straight out, like right here, just bam. You can walk through it. I made it four by, I made it two by two, so it's it's four squares. Um, is like the there's a word for it, the volume. I I can't think. That's it's so early. And I'm so sleep deprived. Don't judge me, but it's it's four squares, which is. It's just giving us a little bit more water flow. So the reason I did that, though, oh, there's just so much to show you guys. So this one has a much larger water reservoir, and I decided I was going to go 360. I was going to go all the way around aquarium so you could see all the way through it. Wouldn't that be neat, huh? Didn't work out that way, unfortunately. So I, that's my what my initial plan was, and I was making it happen. I was really making it happen, guys. But then when I wanted to do what I what I just said... It didn't, there wasn't enough water flow. This trap door wasn't giving enough water to be able to get all four windows. I had one, oh, well, I had it all the way around. I didn't have any windows before. I had it all the way open, all the way around, which I thought would have been super cool, but it just wasn't enough water flow. It wasn't filling up all the windows. Um, some of them weren't actually getting water at all, so it didn't It didn't really give the effect. So what it ended up having to do was just completely block off some of them and only go with three windows, not a full circle. But you still get an awesome effect. I think it looks great. Um, I, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with it. I have no complaints. It's not done yet, obviously, guys. It's a work in progress. I just wanted to give you guys an update and just, you know, get a video out here today 
let you guys know I'm still still working on things. We're still making progress. Um, so the large wa water reservoir, it's too deep, so we can have like an extra reserve of water. And then so there's more water in here. There's more water in here, so it should run for much, much longer. And um, it go so the way this one works is instead of having the one overflow thing, it overflows into this secondary like displacement area where it displaces the water. You can see, I can't quite climb in here, but there's a trap door. It flows down and it has these three windows it'll go out of. And then I made like this terrace thing leading down to the the drop off like we had in the old one, right? Um, sorry, I'm, I don't know if, how easy this is for you guys to see, but um, you know what I could do is I could place Oh, I already have one in my thing. Let's place right there. Let's place one right here. Now, this doesn't really help too much, does it? So you can see kind of it flows down. And then I created some like grooves in it to help lead the water. Because this one we had to turn off. And I just completely got rid of because there was just wasn't, there wasn't enough water. There wasn't enough water getting to it. So we shut that one off. Um, I shut that off just by walling this off. So in here, you can see that wall is not open. That's all I did. That was the whole entire thing. Um, man, I keep having thoughts. I keep thinking like, oh, did I screw up? Because I've been trying to make sure there's like at least four squares everywhere that f water's flowing. I wonder if I lowered this ceiling right here, this floor, um, if that would create enough water flow to do all four. But I'm already committed too much, guys. There's no way I'm going to go back on this. Like, I've, I've spent so much time on this already. I'm not going to redo it. But you can see I kind of created the grooves to lead the water into the uh, window. And it's been working perfectly. I've had no issues with it. Um, I'm going to wall this whole thing off, I think. But I might leave it open at the same time. I'm not sure how I want to approach it because I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. But if I want the aquarium look, it's going to be much cooler if I can't see the stuff up there. You know? So, you know, because in here... Okay, this is a whole other conversation. But... Let's talk a little bit about the just like the the building, I guess, and then we'll kind of make our way in. So I made I had these huge walls because there's so much to fit in here. There's a lot of like mechanical parts. Like, and mechanical may not be the word, but functioning parts in this build that I had. This building has to be pretty gigantic. Um, so I went with the blue and white theme. I thought that was fair. You know, that was appropriate for like a an aquarium. This seemed seemed right. So I made some cool windows and stuff to go in the outside to, you know, give the place a little bit of light. It was a little dark in here. Um, oh, there's an extra block right there. But, um, yeah, so I just put a little, a few lamps. I still use the blue lamps in here to kind of light this up. We have some, oh, God, I keep wanting to go through and talk about the interior of this. We'll get there. But um, in here, we've got these hallways. Oh, yeah, so on each of the corners, like on this side and then also the opposite side over here, so these are like two big open areas where I could do something. What I'm thinking is we'll have a shop in one of them where you buy your water aquatic pets if you want them. So one of these will be a shop. The other one is going to be the staircase leading up to this area up here with a big path leading in to where so you don't have to get in the water. And then there'll be a path right here where you can just look down, open up, and close the trapdoor. So that's what I'm thinking. That's how we're going to make that work. Now, there will be a roof on this place. We are going to make a roof. Ugh, I'm not sure how we're going to do the roof, though. I just don't know. I, I just can't. I can't even imagine. I'm ima I am I think like maybe like a like a rounded roof sort of thing would look cool. I just, I just, I just don't know. I just don't know. Hit me with your suggestions, because I, 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 I can't think of an idea. I can't. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's the sleep deprivation. Maybe I'll think of one later, but feel free to leave me an idea or a comment or whatever you guys want. I'd be happy to hear your suggestions. <sighs> but, yeah, it's looking super cool. I'm very happy with it. The water tower we also need to work on. We need a staircase leading up the water tower, too. Which, uh, I don't want. Like, I like the water tower the way it looks, but if somebody comes to visit the world, they need to be able to get up there so that they can turn on and turn off, or uh, turn on and refill the, uh, the water tower. That's, like, going to be important. So, I just don't... Uh, maybe we can do, like, some more Portal Knights parkour, and I can create, like, a little, like... <laughs> Yeah, like you could do this if you needed it. Okay, I'm not gonna use fly at all, so we're gonna we're gonna sit down. So I'm not flying. Let's see if I can get up to the top of the water tower. What if I come up here and I do one of these and I do one of these? Okay, 
Oh no, that's gonna be a big jump, isn't it? Hmm. Can I get up there somehow? Okay, so what if we created some kind of... Like a... Ooh, yeah, like say this was something back here holding this sign up. Yeah, like that. Say I had one of those on each side, made it look like a functioning thing, you know? It's like, oh, that's the thing that holds up the sign thing, thing stuff. You know, you know what I mean? So this is gonna be a part of this now, okay. I can dig this, all right. So that's there, and then we use this to climb up. And now we're up here, up here, okay. All right. Ah, no! Oh, portal lights parkour. Oh, it's painful sometimes. All right, can I get this now? All right, so I'm up here. I got this, guys. This is a pride thing now. You're gonna have to suffer through this because I want to do it. All right, so I get up top, and now jump, jump, dodge. <laughs> yeah, all right, we can do it. Nailed it. Look at that, guys. We solved the problem on camera. We have a way to get up to the water tower to fill it up now. That's awesome. And it doesn't look weird. That seems appropriate. That seems like it should be there. Maybe I should, uh, we'll, we'll tweak it a little bit later. We'll make it look better. But yeah, very cool. All right, problem solved. Look at us solving problems. So you can totally get up to refill the water tower. Um, it looks cool. I like this base part to it. And then we have some room for uh, so getting some other uh, extensions, like other pipes leading other places. We got plenty of room for that. Now, uh, as far as this is concerned, I think we've covered pretty much everything I want to talk to on the outside. We're going to clean up the inside, make it look a lot better. The outside, honestly, I think. I think it's good. Like, we could do something with these. Uh, I don't know what we put there. Building on slants is always a pain. We could figure something out, though. I also was thinking about tweaking these big old windows, but eh, no, we're fine. We're fine. It, it looks great. I don't, I don't want to overdo it. I, wanna, I don't want to overcrowd the, the decorations. Um... So in here, this is super cool. Here's what I did with this, guys. So I just made a big old circle. Uh, so I made a big circle, and then I filled it in with a celestial block, and then I just kind of terraced it up and terraced it down um, to kind of give it like a, more of like an aquarium feel. Like, it, you know, it's bigger than what you're seeing. You see it kind of leads up. It kind of leads down. And then I, I it looked a little bit empty, so I added this stuff in the middle, just some grass. And as we, we've talked about before, grass doesn't grow on dirt blocks when it's underneath other blocks. So I filled these in with more of those plant things, all this stuff. Threw some of those on there to make it look a little bit better. And then uh, I, I planted some of these animals. And the pets are, are working so much better this time around. Like, they, they work exactly how I want them to. They look perfect. Look at the dragons are like perfectly spread apart. There's a couple over here, but the other two are really well spread apart. Um, all the Krakens, everything, nothing's crowded. Nothing's like running in a, you know, in, in this like pattern. You know, it's not like just running back and forth. It looks a little bit more sporadic, like they're all just kind of running around having a good time. So it's turned out perfectly. I planted them, I believe right here, underneath the first terrace leading back up. Um, I think terrace is the right word. I've used it like three times. Somebody's gonna call me out and be like, no, you, really, you, you don't know what you're saying. That's not the right word, you big dumb dummy. Even though nobody's ever done that to me on a video yet, I, I just know it's gonna happen. I, I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> but it's looking good, guys. Anyway, the 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 whole uh, I don't know. I just have this huge lead up every time I do a video. Let's check it out. Let's see what happens. So we turned it on. This should run for plenty of time. And now let's check it out. Bam! Just like that. We still have that reflection. Which uh, somebody suggested is like, oh, it's like the reflection of the glass, sort of. Like, that's kind of what it's doing. Um, I like that thinking. That's good. That's that's good. Uh, I mean, that's that's a good way to kind of, like, convince yourself it's okay. Um, I still don't care for it too much. Because if you, you see, you can see it's kind of like mirrors in the game. Let's take a look at a mirror really quick. This is kind of something that's bothered me a little bit for a while now. Um... Oh, where are they? Where, where do they put the mirrors? I forgot. It's by the bathroom stuff. Isn't it under wood? Oh, it's in here. Wood, and then there should be wooden mirror. Yeah, look at this. If you look into the mirror, you can see there's, like, blocks. It looks like the outside of a, of a, like, a world. You see, yeah, you can see trees in there and stuff. Like, I'm not inside. Why do I see trees? That's ridiculous. Whatever, though. I, mirrors are supposed to be super hard to do for games, so... Whatever, I'm not going to be super mad about it. But um, the reflection on the water is definitely kind of annoying. It's too bad. But whatever, say lovey, no big deal. Um, it definitely gets the effect I want, though. 
Looks like an aquarium. Very cool. We can see the water up here. Let's check it out. You can see the water flowing there. Water flowing fine here. And it seems like this one over here always has the worst time. Yeah, this one doesn't have as much water flowing. But it still works. Yeah, still works just fine. I don't know why water doesn't flow over here as much as it flows to the other places. But whatever. I'm not going to ask questions if it's just going to work for me. So, no big deal. Cool. And that's, that's part of the problem I ran into with this one over here and why I had to turn it off. But, yeah. Very happy with it. Turn it into a super cool aquarium, guys. Digging it a lot. I still got the lights in there. You can kind of see them sometimes if you get up really close. But, whatever. Well, I don't, I don't even care. You see some lights. Who, who gives a doodle? Ain't no big deal. It's, it's fine. You, you find a better solution for lighting. I, I can't find one. Come at me, bro. <laughs> it's looking good, guys. Yeah, very cool. And then if I come in here, I can get this cool shot where I'm like in, I'm like in the in the aquarium. Help me! I'm drowning. Help! I can't breathe. Oh God! <laughs> it's cool. But then inside, it's just normal. Yeah, very cool. I'm super happy with this. This is this is my proudest invention, Portal Knights invention thing. It's very good. It's very good. And we can see how this is holding up. Yeah, this worked out perfectly. I needed the larger water reservoir. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys this. So initially when I set it up, I just had this pipe leading out here and then it went straight down. There was no reservoir before and it didn't work. It wasn't getting enough water and it ran out super fast. But I think the combo of having all this extra water and then this to back it up slows down how fast this drains. So eventually I think there'll still be water in here and this all this water will be gone and it'll just be kind of like flowing straight into it and it won't work as well. But in the meantime, it's just going to lengthen like the, the lifespan of the of the aquarium working like it'll it'll increase how long it's going to work just fine. Um, really worked out perfectly. So I got a lot of work to do to finish this up. But check it. I mean, just check out this world, guys. Look at it. Just look how f freaking filled in this thing looks now. There, there's barely any room to expand. We got room for like one more thing over here. And then we're going to clean up the front area. And then that's pretty much going to be it. Now I was thinking snake exhibit. That's what I had in my head. But I don't know how sold I am on that. We don't have a lot of options as far as like pets uh, that would fit in that kind of uh, exhibit. Like, let's see here. What, uh, what options do we have? Yeah, we've got the rats, the cats, boxers we've done, the spores. I had put, oh yeah, I put mana spores in there. I think those look super good. Do you guys see that? I'm sure you did. You saw the mana spores floating around in there? I think that's a perfect addition to the aquarium. They kind of look like sea creatures, you know? Yeah, definitely an, an awesome addition. I'm very happy with that too. But um, we got the spores. So there's the other spores we still need to make a, a home for. Um... The snakes, of course. The owls. Oh, yeah. I haven't finished putting, like, birds and stuff. I haven't finished the birdcage yet. We still have work to do over there. So, we still got our work cut out for us, guys. There's a lot to be done. So, this this build isn't quite over yet. The pandas. Ooh, that's what I want to talk about with you guys real quick. So, sorry. I'm just kind of looking through here to see what else we have. Yeah, the frogs and the dragons, I guess, would work okay in the, the snake exhibit. That would be fine. But, uh, oh yeah, so the other thing I want to use this water tower for, you guys might notice that it lined up perfectly with the panda area, huh? That's neat, isn't it? Huh? What a coinky dink, huh? <laughs> I'm going to keep saying, huh? <laughs> yeah, you like that, huh? That's neat, huh? So, what I was thinking, though, is that a cool thing we could do is expand the panda exhibit Make it a little bit more grand, you know. Still, it keeps kind of the same concept idea, but make it a little bit more interesting. And what I was thinking is a waterfall. So do a similar contraption. Try and hide it a little bit behind some rock. And then have like a waterfall, at you know, like next to the pandas that go into their little pond. We'll have to have some kind of overflow area so it doesn't flood the panda exhibit. But um, we could still have a little reservoir, have a little overflow area. And then be able to have a flowing waterfall um, for the pandas, which I think would just add such an amazing aesthetic. Uh, we'll need like this centralized shut off area for the the water, though, because 
if we just let this drain, it's going to drain pretty... I mean, it's, it's a larger one, but it still drains pretty quickly. I mean, look in here. It's been, what, a solid five minutes, and it's almost gone already. I don't imagine when people come to this world, they're going to be hanging out for five minutes just staring in the aquarium. So, I mean, it's not... I feel like that's an appropriate-sized uh, water tower. I think that's good. Oh, you guys might have noticed, I kind of brought it in the bottom, too, to give it a little bit more shape. I think that was a good choice. I think it looks better that way. It's not as boring. Yeah. I'm digging it. And that, that water tower, it just looks better, I think. Oh, yeah. So let me know what you guys think of the waterfall. I think that'll be a cool idea. For, pretty fun to mess around with. Somebody suggested doing, like, a river with, like, floodgates with the uh, doors. But, um, I mean, that would be cool, but I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know that I want a full-fledged river. I don't have a lot of room for, for much else in here. But uh, I think a waterfall would be perfect. Um, yeah, that water tower. Let's kind of get some looks at it. Yeah, from over here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like too much. It seems fine. I'm not, I don't have any problems with that. It looks good. Let's, this is our little bench we were checking it out in last time. Let's take a look. Yeah, it doesn't distract from the other things you're looking at. I mean, for if anything distracts, it's that <laughs> big giant bird cage. <laughs> that thing's so crazy. I'm still pretty happy with this thing. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I, I keep like talking myself out of thinking it's good. It's good. I'm good with it. Yeah, no worries. But uh, we're going to leave it there for today, guys. I hope you like what we're doing. This is a lot of fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Uh, if you do like it, definitely hit the like button. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button because we're over 400 subs. Over 400 subs. What? Oh, that's so crazy. I can't believe it, guys. We hit 400 subs. I never thought I would see the day. I swear. To, I swear. For like... It was like a year. My channel just sat at 40 subs, and like most of them were like my mom. Like, <laughs> okay, not actually my mom, but like you know, people I actually know that were like, oh, "We'll watch your channel, Great White. Oh, you're 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 our real life friend, and we just want to support you." But now I got like real people watching. That's so cool. 400 subs, guys. Oh, that's so awesome, guys. I got my eyes on 500. And I'm trying to think, what's something cool we could do for uh, 500 subs? I was thinking doing like a and a like you know, I'll get like a actual camera and like record myself answering some questions if you guys want not that you guys would have a ton of questions for me i guess so you could tell me if you have questions i'd have you happy to answer them we'll talk about it a little bit more as you get closer to 500 but believe you me we're gonna have something special something special is gonna happen we'll have some kind of cool video or something like that to celebrate and i'm looking forward to it a lot 500 subs oh that's gonna be awesome 400 is awesome though anyway like what 400 subs 400 people looked at my channel and thought okay i'll check out this dude some more that's so cool guys so thank you so much if you support this channel everyone that comments everybody that likes the videos and even the people that just like show up and just like watch it even if it's not the whole thing just like you like tune in for a minute and you're like oh there's great white doing his thing again it's so awesome guys i love it i love all of you so much and uh thanks for hanging out with me today you've been you've been super awesome and i hope you guys just have <laughs> Just had the best kind of day. Later, dudes.